Hey guys, my name is Sucosinct and I'm back with more Pokemans. Anyways, today I'll show you what I'll bring to the table as a Pokemon Champion. I'll be explaining the Elite Four members and their teams, my Pokemon team, the theme of the League, and, well, what the League building would probably look like, which I probably won't explain. <laughs> um, and also, credits to Birdkeeper Toby for creating this awesome idea. Okay, now let's start off with the theme and the design of the League. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, I do talk about this. <laughs> then Sun and Moon is a thank you letter to all the Pokemon fans, I decided to create a tribute to Pokemon in general. The League will be looking like a theater, or a restaurant, something that will be inspired by my love of acting and voice acting, and my memories of visiting and also quote-unquote owning a restaurant. The inside interior, however, will be based off of the Elite Four. Now, since it's the Elite Four, I decided to pick four elements of Pokemon. Challenge, Creativity, Harmony, and Friendship. I'll be giving them five Pokemon, since it's more better that way. Let's kick off with Challenge. Who is the most challenging Pokemon trainer other than Cynthia? <coughs> I need to take a drink. Oh god. Excuse me, I need to take a... That's for the Coke. Oh. I think in my experience with Pokemon since I was younger, the most challenging Pokemon trainer was definitely Elisa. You've come so far! Now you better be prepared to face me, a shining star! So, having a good challenge for the start of the league can give a hype boost. She'll have her signature to Amogus and... Amogus? <laughs> Amogus and her powerful sub Striker. But what about the others? Well, she has stuff of Flappy, which will finally evolve into an Ampharos, which will probably be her Z-Stone user, or, <coughs> excuse me, Megastone user. Her last Pokemon will be a Galvantula, which has evolved from her little Joltik in Pokemon Black and White 2. Well, of course you defeat her, and continue on to the next challenge. I'm sorry, I did not mean to cut off the cutting music like that. <laughs> Creativity is what the franchise thrives on. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon fans from around the world bring theories, music, and even fan games of the original content. And who expresses this the most and sees beauty and even the most disturbing things? Aha! I suspected you would be near. Now, let us see who will find the artistic beauty first! Ferg, the bug type gym leader from Castelia City, of course. Another trainer that I had serious problem with when I was young. <clears throat> We haven't had a Bug-type Elite Four member since, well, 4th Gen, which was Aeron. He'll have his towering Scolipede and his hidden Crustle. Afterward, he'll send out his Excalibur, which will- Bleh. <laughs> which evolved from his Carablast. Then, he'll also send out an Exelgore. Oh god, that took me a long time to- 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 to-, to call? Oh god. Which evolved from his Shelmet. We're forgetting someone, aren't we? Yes. Yes, indeed, we are. We're missing his Levani, which will carry a buggy and Z. An easy fight, but no big deal. Time to meet someone familiar. With Pokemon Go announced for all mobile devices, everyone, including your grandma, wanted it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and everyone finally knew what Pokemon was truly about. And it was actually the second time, maybe, when Pokemon made the world go round. So much trainer in the Pokemon world makes everyone happy, no matter the situation. Do I really have to say it? It's your best friend! How? <laughs> hey, Kahuna Hollow here. Alright, this is gonna be great! This Malasada... God, finally, I said it right. Right? Please don't hate me. <laughs> Loving trainer has grown into a Kahuna, just like his grandpa. My voice cracked. Crap. <laughs> and followed further and joined the Elite Four. Having his Komala, Crab Rock, Crab Bombable, Jesus, and a lowland Raichu. But what about his evolution starter? This will have a role as well. If you chose, well, grass, Flareon and Primarina. If you chose water, Leafeon and Incineroar, etc, etc. So, which Pokemon will hold, hold the Z-Stone? I think it would be nice to let Raichu have the Z-Stone. Allo... Oh god. Allo Raichu and Z. Wait, that's a tongue twister. Now who will be the last, final trainer in your way? <laughs> I knew it would be too soon. No oh, annoying. Your last challenge is me. That's right, the Aether President himself, Gladian. 
definitely my favorite rival in Pokemon besides from Hugh. This Edgelord will be using his original team, consisting of a Crobat, Weavile, Porygon Z, Lucario, and finally, his signature, Silvali. It's kind of adorable how his team is centered around friendship, with his, re with his relationship with Crobat and Silvali, along with him finding a friend to gain that Porygon Z, along with his Lucario, which he trusts since it holds a Z Steel Z Crystal. His Weavile has been very pleased with his trainer's growth, and that leads to one last question. Will his Silvali ch change type? Well, fuck yeah, why wouldn't it? With his shaking hand and constant boiling anger, he finally calms down and gives a smile to you, leading you to the final, final trainer in your way. <laughs> Hello, trainer. It's been a while, hasn't it? Let us battle on the Earth's stage. Lights turn on, showing a mint green surrounding. You see me, center stage, with my superior circled around me. It hisses as I calm it down. I'll be using both my Pokemon from Generation 5 and Generation 7. I'll be using Hikaru, my Silvali, at level 65 with Leaf Blade, Synthesis, Sword Stance, and Frenzy Plant, while holding a Miracle Seed. I'll also be having Dewey, my Araquanid, at level 64. Hmm. In with Infestation, Lunge, Aqua Ring, and Surf, holding a Mystic Water. Emerald, my Gardevoir, at level 63. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Call mine, Moonblast, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater, holding a Gardevoirite. Bug, my Arcanine, what at level 63, well, with Flare Blitz, Flamethrower, Agility, Fire Blast, and holding a Fire MZ. Planish, my two cannon, at level 64, I can't speak numbers apparently, <laughs> with Beak Blast, Drill Peck, Hyper Voice, and Brick Break, while holding a Quick Clock. Take you, or tag you. My Lucario, at level 63 as well, with Close Combat, Aura Sphere, Calm Mind, and Protect, holding a Fist Plate. Well, of course you defeat me, and I'll guide you to the Hall of Fame and showcase you to another Pokemon. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> let me rephrase that, I was stuttering. Um, but of course, I'll be defeated and guide you to the Hall of Fame to showcase you as another Pokemon champion. I'm surprised I was beaten so easily. You've been training hard, haven't you? Well, congratulations, trainer. You finally defeated my Pokemon League. I hope you... I hope to see you again. Oh god, I was stuttering way too much for my own being. <laughs> Anyways... Anyways, um, I hope you guys liked this. Um, god. I hope you guys liked this. I actually didn't make a script for the outro. Um, so I'm just going to keep stuttering like a maniac. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys really, uh, I, meh, I hope you guys liked that, um, prediction if I was a Pokemon champion. Of course, you probably could have seen, like, the last two, um, um, the last two Elite Four members, because, like, they're probably my favorite, um, characters from Pokemon. Um, anyways, all of the art shown in this video, and all of the music heard in this video, all belong to their own original, um, mm, artists, I should say. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, and the Triforce be with you, and, um, holy crap. <laughs>